The Trade Union Congress has presented the federal government with a list of demands to cushion the effect of petrol subsidy removal on the citizens. The demands include an increase in minimum wage, tax holiday for certain categories of people, as well as reverting to status quo as negotiations continue. A federal government delegation held a meeting with representatives of the organized labor, excluding the Nigeria Labor Congress at the presidential villa in Abuja on Sunday. Spokesperson for the government, Dele Alake, uh, who led the delegation of the federal government in the meeting, told State House correspondents that the meeting, that most of the demands were not practicable and would be tabled, were not impracticable and would be tabled before the president. Uh, a lot of the items on the list are not impracticable. What we need to do is to uh, study the numbers very well and then we have asked the TUC to also give us the a leeway to consult you know, very exhaustively and come back on Tuesday, reconvene on Tuesday to actually look at the numbers, uh, the viability, practicability uh, of all the items that have been presented to us. Now, uh, most important top priority on the list which the government is also looking at very seriously, and the president has announced before, is the issue of the uh, minimum wage, which the labor movement has demanded as a consequence of uh, this uh, removal of uh, the consequential impact of the removal of subsidy. So government is looking at that, and uh, Mr. President uh, is most likely going to uh, constitute a tripartite committee. Also speaking to newsmen, the TUC President Festus Osifo said while some progress has been made with the negotiations, the union would still brief its members ahead of Tuesday's meeting. We, we have presented a list of our demands to them and they received it in good faith that they will go back to their principal and come back to us on Tuesday. So we are hopeful that the demand that we have presented would um, it will be reviewed in the best interest of Nigerian workers and the entire Nigerian masses. It's because they are going back to Mr. President. So we also think that we should give them that benefit of doubt so that uh, we will convey this meeting again on Tuesday. So we've, um, uh, and topmost in our demand was clearly stated at all that for utmost good faith and in the interest of social dialogue that they should revert back the pump price why discussion continue hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates